To relate to flying an airplane and doing an instrument approach, you know, it's the excitement, it's the adrenaline that builds up to the launch, and the launch itself, it's, it's a rush, and it's kind of addictive. And you do it a couple of times and you want more. I mean, when you hit that starter switch and just feel that thing rumble, all that power underneath your right foot, can't wait to go out and make a run in it. When you hit the gas on these things, it's a thrill ride like you've never had before. It throws you back in the seat, the wheels come up, and you are off and flying. It's fast. <laughs> at the starting line, it feels like you're sitting on the top of a rocket ship. And about at the eighth mile, it feels like you're driving the interstate in a full-blown luxury car. Over the years, we've built this friendship and this community of Kobo drivers. And when you come to a race like this, if any one of us breaks down, the rest of the group is there for you. If somebody has parts you need or if somebody has knowledge you need, they're helping you, although they might be your competitor in the next run. You know, I have this uh, saying, uh, from burnout to turnout, I want to rip your head off. Uh, you know, we're enemies. Other than that, you know, if you have a broken part, I'll give you anything I got to help you. I mean, uh, everybody from all walks of life is out here. We're all, you know, brothers, if you will, uh, for a common goal. And uh, yeah, it's really a big family. Sí, aquí en este circuito prácticamente es casi una familia, porque somos enemigos solamente en la línea allá frente al palo de luces, pero acá somos todos casi una familia. Al que se le rompe un carro, el otro tiene su pieza, se la presta, se la da. You know, uh, a lot of people go boating or fishing. We race, you know, and then on top of that, to have this opportunity to drive this car behind me, which I think is the best car out here. Um, who wouldn't want to do that? So you'll sacrifice an awful lot to do it.